Stellaris 3.6. Reworking fleet combat, ascension pass, and overall balance changes. In this video, we will be checking out the improved Shattered Ring Origin. Do these changes bring it closer to the powerhouse it once was, or is it still an underwhelming origin? Today, we'll be finding out against the hardest AI, except for advanced starts. So, what exactly is new about this origin? Well, I'm glad you asked. We'll be walking through that as we play in the game, but the first noticeable difference is we can actually colonize both of the habitable sections right off the start. These are linked to your guaranteed habitable worlds, so Ring will eventually have those two guaranteed habitable planets, like other empires. The only difference is they start at 0% habitability because they have a bunch of blockers and blockers that make your upkeep insanely high and destroys the habitability cap. There's four of them. So even as the robots, we will get 0% habitability. Now we're playing quite a strong build in my opinion. We've gone introspective or more research speed to engineering because we do want to eventually repair the shattered ring that's still in the game and also driven assimilated because we just want all the pops so that we can actually use all of the buildings from when we repair the Shattered Ring. We're also robots so we can actually inhabit other planets, but I really wanted to go to the full power with this build. So the first thing we're gonna do is not actually rush inhabiting these planets. They are going to be a massive drain on our economy until we can clear these quite expensive blockers. 2,000 energy, 1,000 alloys just to get rid of double upkeep and zero habitability is not fun. So we're gonna save a bit until we can at least get habitability up. We have a really nice stroke point, actually. That's insane. First things first, a research lab. Now, there's a bunch of buffs that we're obviously going to go into later on, but overall, there's a lot of small changes that I believe add up into one big change. For instance, Repair the Shattered Ring is cheaper by 25%. Once we repair the Shattered Ring, we qualify for Galactic Wonders Ascension perk, which is one of the best Ascension perks you get. You get to build Ring Worlds, Matter Decompressors, and Dyson Spheres. There's some pop growth and assembly speed buffs, and most importantly, the buildings that give you more resources from jobs, such as the mineral purification hubs, the energy nexus. When you upgrade them to their max level, they get the orbital ring buffs. So us not having an orbital ring doesn't matter. I don't know if this works if you don't have the DLC, but I imagine it might. And the feature where mining districts give alloys as well is still here. Energy grids, this is huge for us. We're going down a big energy build, especially since all these blockers just cost energy. Oh wow. So we just got a bulldozer, which is insane for this origin with cyborg which reduces pop up keep i think we have to grab them yes the intellectuals there that's really tempting but bulldozer plus cyborg brings down the cost of these by a bunch he was worth 300 before now we actually need to get some unity because <laughs> we don't even have a tradition yet yeah energy production starting to ramp up i think we think about making a colony ship soon first tradition we are going to go prosperity just helps with building and resources it appears they've changed efficiency algorithm i swear this was more energy from jobs but it's fine yeah we can finally send out our first colony ship and i think it's time to bulldoze some of these to get some alloys build speed and build cost reduced perfect and energy grid one more energy credit from our energy jobs and once we get exotic gases and we get the tech to upgrade it we get three more instead of two it's it's gonna be very nice so we are colonizing zero prime what you can do while it's colonizing is actually start to clear blockers this is massive i recommend you 100 percent do this so we can actually get rid of shortening power grid oh and actually these require different techs oh okay so we need star hold improved deflectors ion thrusters so we need to look out for this and zero point power we are getting fusion reactors but that isn't one of them well we can at least get 25 percent habitability and we've got our first encounter that's not massively no good it's another empire but hey it's free pops i really want those rare crystals oh went for give give please oh we're actually blocked in here that's a bit annoying. At least we can get the rare crystals. And there's a desert planet up here. Hydro Bay's unlocked. Time to spam them out. Gotta get that economy going. Iron Thruster. That was one, right? Need to write these texts down. Yes, Iron Thrusters. We need those. So these decks are massively important now. Like, even though pop growth speed's good, I want at least 50% habitability on this planet. And to do that, we need Iron Thrusters. And the beautiful thing about being a robot or any just salt, you can just spam solar panel networks, which just produce free energy. For a bit of alloys. 
but it will pay off over time. Our first colony is here, so we have 25% habitability because we cleared one of the blockers. We'll be able to clear another one soon. But for now, we're just going to make another machine assembly plant. Oh, we actually just lost a unit. That's not good. So that we can get more production because we do get pop growth and Plot robot growth. It's successful. it's pretty strong. Unity is so puff with complete. this build though. Improved deflectors was also one, right? Yes. We shall grab improved deflectors. Oh, oh yeah, and I could probably do these clearing blockers now. We can get 75% habitability. We should probably colonize the other successful. ring sooner, maybe, but it's fine. We'll get there eventually. Yeah, we can actually go and colonize the next planet. We have met some peaceful traders. We will be passive aggressive with them. They want to guarantee our independence. Well, we'll accept that for now. And eventually, you'll become one of us. Oh, there's moats here as well. Access. Huge. I hate having to build the rare resource buildings. Okay, now this is being colonized. Let's clear these blockers while we can. So the big thing we need now is zero point power so that we can get rid of this plus 100% upkeep. And then we've just got free shattered rings. They're a bit slow to get on with, but later on in the game, this is going to be so powerful. Okay, the third shattered ring is here and prosperity is finished. We're going to grab executive vigor because we have no unity and I want to activate some actual useful... Uh, <laughs> edicts like capacity subsidies when we have the unity but a little tip you can actually just build the colony ship from here and then just send it there efficiency oh i really can't afford losing units please stop so weirdly there's no pops growing here i think it's because i have no ring worms there so what we're gonna do once we get a bit of unity everything costs unity is move one pop there so that it gets pop growth there we go so maybe i should have colonized with the ringworms instead but it's fine if okay, for now this is just going to be a unity world this will be our alloy world oh planetary power grid's insane this early so as you can see we get plus four energy credits from tech jobs i think normal energy next to the plus three or two the only issue is we don't have exotic gases but we do have the building so we can just build one so yeah energy nexus is actually plus two and we're getting plus four from it this early there's a nanite swarm on this planet that's great minus 200 percent habitability why are all the planets cursed around us okay we can reverse engineer artifacts now can't turn them into money so we may as well break them down and get carrier operations let's study the swarm further so can we actually colonize this oh well we'll try and let's build that gas refinery so then we can make ultimate Special energy grid and null, null void beam and we get dark matter let's tame the swarm research agreement i wish it would tell me how many i can get from it but sure we'll do it oh they're equivalent to us oh well we'll get a few boosts i'm sure okay let's go down supremacy we will be doing some murdering with the uh banana armada flying rat shippy mcship face and acadia's bastion to start in corvettes we will build on that but these are all patreon named ships so if you want to name ships fleets even leaders like our envoy sir dapple apple here check out the link in the description it starts off at a pound oh dear the nanites oh no this is good for us we we removed it yes it's a guy world now we tamed it 30 percent engineering research cruisers already nice okay i'm gonna upgrade the energy grid we go from plus one to plus four it's absolutely insane and we can do another reverse engineer arcane technology just some engineering research and we found another empire no they're gonna get to the moats before us aren't they no okay, the energy we're producing from these jobs now absolutely insane 300 each pot produces 23 energy i think we just need to go hard into generators on here the only bad side about this souped up energy nexus is, is it costs three to upkeep or 2.7 and a normal exotic gas refinery only produces about the same it's producing two because of the negatives on this planet i really need zero point power no they built on the moats i was too slow and they're building behind me this empire will die there's the cold fusion reactor or oh, mineral pure purification hub this will buff it up even more just like the energy only on rings though i'm probably going to make this ring world into unity plus minerals and we can finally get rid of the upkeep once we get the heck on a zero point reactor even we need the reactor above what we just got yikes oh they're they're killing each other interesting oh they're like just both wrapped around me <laughs> we've got alloy nanoplants these are going to make alloy production even better we definitely Technological need to think about war now though yeah we can get a civic i'm not sure what is the best here monthly unity we are struggling with unity we're gonna go for that i want to get an active sensor link with my uh friends over here just to see what exactly they're attacking one favor does it and we can get some alloys from them oh they're going for the site we are literally just encased with them i think we need to build up a fleet to try and go on these as well 
an ideological war, so they're not going to die. We can take pops from them. I like I don't actually even have frigates unlocked. I haven't had the tech to get frigates this entire game. We're 30 years in, but I have cruisers. <laughs> we'll run with this for our corvette, just because of techs. I'm going to make a screen destroyer, because hangers are actually pretty OP at the minute. This for our destroyer. Thing is, I don't have any hangar tech. Actually, we can go them. We got carrier operation here. Then we'll have hangers on the back. Yeah, we don't need a destroyer screen if we've got hangar, because they got pickets. So we'll run this, and we'll buy bulk alloys. Just start making our fleet. Ooh, I'm actually stupid. Let me cancel this. So what I did earlier was I got a AI aided design governor that was just on this other sector. This gives us less ship build cost, so we can actually just build more ships for cheaper. Great, so my ally here is actually losing. I don't know what they're playing at. Anyway, we're going to a mega forge, which means we get one more alloy per job. And then once we go up to the next one, it'll be like we're getting a orbital ring on it. Ah, we found some more empires. The Steady Infected Systems, one of our Patreon empires. You will be assimilated oh, soon, I'm success. sure. Premacy is finished, and we can get Synthetic Age, which will unlock a new Ascension Path. Okay, they're only superior to us now. I really want to take them out, get their pops. The Crisis can spawn in 10 years. We're quite weak. We can finally get Frigate. Ah, they're back, though, with an 8k. We have 8k? It's risky. We finally have Frigate. Wait, what? someone else is killing these okay we got to go in no they're taking them all delicious well we can go down a synthetics now which just overall buffs robots delicious have taken everything okay well we need to go kill something but let's go kill our neighbor i'm sorry oh they're a vassal under delicious yikes well it's time we do a wall but we actually get something anyway i really hope our fleet composition can win us this erosion is ours what do they have a 15k we need to retreat turn this into a defensive unit Are we now 15k we don't have our edicts on so we could maybe take them but i want to be safe and see if we can get a couple more cruisers in the fleet our alloy production is ramping up so we're smart to use the choke points where we build up spaceport they're gonna engage us they are i'm gonna let the starbase tank it's so tight all right edicts on we're now 19k they want some come on they retreated out. Okay. I should have maybe let the Starbase tank a bit more. Fine. They have a 13k as well. Or is that the one that just retreated out? Yeah, my economy is going to be all over the place while um we get new planets that are like alloy worlds. <laughs> which we can't really afford at the minute. They're sending lots of fleet up. This is scary. Jeez. Oh dear. We're actually trapped. They're going to beat us there, aren't they? They have like 30k. What is this? They're sending everything. Oh, we are probably dead. Not going to lie. Unless they bypass us. They're bypassing us. We can take out their 15k on the back. And oh my gosh, they're actually being noobs. They're being noobs. Catch them. I hate how they just retreat out. We're not like killing any of their stuff. We're like, killing a few, I guess. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. They jump back. If we can take out this fleet before that. Their other one didn't jump in. Back out. E this is not good. Yeah, we are killing their stuff. We need to just charge them down, I think. While they're weak, we should win this. Just about. Just about. They're coming back in. Oh. My fleet composition is unmatched. Okay, that fight was incredible. I think Hang is a massively meta now. Why are all their planets Forge World? Damn it. Stop. I need minerals. So I'm blocked. <laughs> I can't get to the stupid rest of them because this empire's in the way. And if I declare war, I go against the most powerful empire in the galaxy. Yeah. Synthetics is done. We get more replicator jobs, which means more pops. And I've been saving or at least waiting to modify our species because we just get buffs as we go down it. But what I'm going to do is just whack on efficient processes, more resources from jobs, and apply that to everything. Trying to improve relations so that they'll open borders with us, but they really just don't want to. Please, have some gifts. I've already given them a bunch of rare crystals, but maybe this will help. Also, we still don't have zero point power. This is really hard to get rid of. Our upkeep is insane on these planets. I could really do with not having to pay just the absurd amount of upkeep on them. Okay, they're not opening borders. I'm just gonna peace out, and we're gonna go kill them. Honestly, automation is broken like i can just plow energy i don't have minerals but look every building's just being made out of energy <laughs> i've literally just automated everything i don't care anymore about my planets without tiny outliner i just can't be bothered
and the beta is semi broken without it. It just looks weird. They're preparing war against us. They're, they're overwhelming and I have almost 100k. I guess we make another fleet then. We finally got a zero point reactor. We can actually make these ring segments not a pain. Oh, they've actually gone to war with us. They haven't called in their vassal, which is annoying because I can't go through with them. I'll have to declare war on their vassal. Fleet detected only 15k and we can actually finally get rid of malfunctioning reactor, which we're going to do on both. That should really help us. 36k, 45k. Oh no. Best thing we can do is use our defenses and I hope we can maybe take them. Okay, they're coming for the station. Hold the line. Hold the line. Oh, I should have tried to catch them. It was only a 15k. Now, oh, what is this? AI's a clap. They have 300k. How? Look, it looks like even the new ring can't take on insane AI. And I just ran out of energy. That is very bad. That is very, very bad. Okay, I'm selling stuff to try. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. <sighs> I think it's over. Energy shortage isn't gonna go as well. Yeah, there's no way. There's absolutely no way. <laughs> AI is good. Especially with the buff that gives them more output from their tech. Well, that's an insane fight. Well, it's over. I literally lost most of my fleet there. I can't do much. Ring was fun. We didn't even get to restoring it. There was more buffs to rings once they're restored, like more pop growth. But we didn't even get to mega engineering. If you enjoyed this video, you like the time we tried out new planetary ascension, which we didn't even use in this game. Probably should have.